Okay, everybody. I'm Chris Kent. Let's talk about another list formatting and the cloud formatting, view formatting, all that fun stuff, tips. Okay. So, once again, you've got your classic Warrior Horses site, right? And the Warrior Horses are nothing if not prepared at all times. So they've been working on a new disaster plan. So they've been listing out their disasters and uh, seeing what they can do about them. So we've got a new disasters list here. So we come in here. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, so they've got their, their disaster, and they've got a plan. You can see we've already applied some formatting here. We've got a nice icon using the UI Fabric icon. It's nice text. So we got this going here, and that's okay, but the horses are a little upset about this icon here, right, the balloons icon. I mean, that's that's all right, but maybe they could do a little better, get something a little more disaster -y. Is that a word? Sure. So if we take a look at the, the format that's currently applied, right, it's pretty straightforward. All it is is got a div with two children in it. One's a span. And you can see for UI Fabric icons, super easy. Just put the icon name, and there it is, case sensitive. That works, and then you put in the text, right? And you can get all those icons over here on this uh, nice site here. I like to use this site, the uifabricicons.azurewebsites.net. I just placed that in there. I find it just a little easier. It's a little more straightforward, right? So if you were looking for something, I'm looking for balloons, right? There they are. That's awesome. You can do that. But what if you want something a little bit different? I mean, there's like, I forget how many, 1,500 icons, something like that. It's insane. It keeps growing. But there isn't really one that expresses the true rage and and uh, angst these horses feel at the disasters they've listed here. So what if we want to use something else, say an icon from Material uh, Design here, or we want to use something like Font Awesome, or use one of their free icons here? Can we do that, right? Uh, well, generally, you can't use them directly or unless you're deploying some actual code, but how do we use these inside list formatting? Well, the good news is, is that list formatting uh, supports SVG uh, formats. So you can insert SVGs uh, directly inside your formats, which gives you a lot of options. Uh, so bad news is that we don't, no, we, I don't do it. Uh, it doesn't support the attribute view box, uh, which is really important for SVGs, and we'll talk about why. But first, let's find one uh, that really expresses our rage here. So if we type in poo, oh, look at this, poo storm, perfect, right? So is there any better way to describe a disaster than a poo storm, right? So the nice thing about these sites is it provides this download SVG button here, right? So we grab that. Mind there are some different licensing and everything else here. Got it? Okay. So hit that button. All right, got our poo storm down here. Now, in order to use this, Right, we actually need to grab out the SVG uh, path outside of that. But first, because we can't do Viewbox, we've got to make sure we scale that properly. So I'm going to use a free tool called Inkscape. Uh, it's an open source free tool. You can get it uh, at Inkscape.com or something. I don't know. All right, so let's go and get our poo storm. All right, so all we're going to do is we're going to open this up in Inkscape, which opened it up up there, which will bring it back down here. So you can see there's our poo storm. It's beautiful. Now, if we go into our document properties, all right, we're just going to scale this thing down. So let's say we want about 26 pixels, all right? We'll make sure that view box is scale as well, all that. Okay, so we just do that. I do 26 and 26. There we go. So now we're going to grab our icon, and we're going to resize that too. I'm going to lock the dimensions here. Well, maybe I'm not. Come on. Oh, come on now. Come on. Lost control. Anybody else seeing this? All right. Well, good news is I pre-did this, so if we have to. Uh... Okay. Well, just pretend I scaled that correctly. Once that is scaled correctly, all I was going to do is resize it to this box. You can open this thing up um, in an editor, say, like VS Code. So we'll just uh, close that saving on that one. So if we open up our VS Code, and I happen to have a, again, I prepped this. So we've got our poo storm solid here. You can see it's got all this information about how to draw that poo storm. Can I say poo storm anymore on the call? <laughs> Making me laugh. Uh, the important thing here is this path element. We'll come back to this. This crazy coordinates and all this other stuff. Um, Inkscape has made that so that all works within 26 by 26 pixels. So let's take a look here. All right. So if we go back, we go to our format here. We want to change out a couple things, right? So we don't want this span with the icon anymore. So we'll just we'll actually just kill some of this. So we'll just uh, element type instead of span. Let's make that an SVG, right? So then we're going to come up here and let me zoom back out a little so I can actually read it. All right, we're going to make that an SVG. We're going to get rid of these attributes here because we don't need any icons anymore, right? We're going to say our style. 
Uh, let's add a couple of styles here. Uh, we're going to add width and height just to make sure that we got that exactly what we want. Let's just paste those in. All right, and then I'm going to set a fill color directly to match this theme color because right now there isn't a uh, Microsoft UI Fabric uh, theme color class for the fill property, which is what we need in order to set our icon color. So we'll set that there. And then the what thing we need to do then is add our own children to the SVG. So we'll add a little children here. All right. I'm always typing on this call. It's a mistake. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to add just one little child. One little child. Ah! We'll call. <laughs> Sorry about the screaming. Can't avoid it. All right. So we're going to add that, and what we're going to do is we're going to add an element type of path. So this is really the only time you ever use path. Again, this is a little more advanced. You don't generally do this, but uh, here we go. All right. Element type path. And the key thing here is we want to add an attribute into our attributes object here. And this attribute is the D attribute. So it's just a little D, little D, put that in there. And what goes in there is what we saw in that VS code here, right? So this D right here, we're just gonna grab that D. So I'm gonna grab everything inside there. Ooh, it's really long. Okay, there we go, grab that. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna head back to my format. There it is. I'm just gonna paste that in there, boom. You see, it's beautiful. All right, but these are all the coordinates that make up the beautiful poo storm. So we're going to preview that. Oh, yeah. Now look at that. We have a font awesome icon right here. Got ourselves a nice poo storm going on. The horses are happy because, again, you know, this expresses their general sadness better than almost anything else could. So let's save that. Okay. So let's take a quick look at uh, what we just did and what else we could do. Because you could take this a lot further. In fact, uh, if you take a look at some of the samples we have available on our SP Dev list formatting, which, again, let's grab that and paste that sucker in. Boom, boom. All right, so we've got a couple of samples for you here. So there's one, there's the generic SVG icon format, which takes you through. And what it's going to do is going to use conditional uh, here to, to set some of these font awesome icons to specify gender. So you can take a look at that. So if you take a look at the actual format, you see we're doing the same kind of thing. It gets a little crazy. We're just using expressions inside that D attribute to change which ones we do, All right? Eh, there's some pluses and minuses to that, but it does work pretty well. You know, we also can do a little further things with SVG, right? So SVGs can be used to draw some pretty cool things like our pie chart. So you can create a pie chart using an SVG, right? And based on values elsewhere in your formats, you can determine how those paths get drawn. So again, this is a little more complicated, but if you take a look at that, you know, we're not going to go through all of this, but you can start to see we're doing some cool stuff. We're using our, our sin operator or sign operator, I should say, right? There's awesome stuff in here you can do with SVGs. Again, advanced topic, but if you want to just start by grabbing some fun, awesome icons or, or something else there, uh, you can do that. So let's review. All right. Scalable vector graphics. That's what SVG stands for. You just use the element type SVG with a child of element type path and specify that D attribute. Remember, there is no view box attribute, which really complicates some things, because uh, generally you'd just be able to grab that SVG and paste it in there. Uh, but without the view box right now, you're going to have to scale those coordinates yourself using something like Inkscape. Uh, do be aware that if you start to do these in lots of expressions, you remember that that was some crazy stuff with those coordinates. Uh, it can get a little crazy. There are not technically any way to do comments in here, but you can create your own attributes. Uh, called comment if you want. Again, it'll be ignored by the uh, the engine. Um, that might help you keep track of what icons these are. Um, and then, again, uh, it's pretty cool. So if you're interested in some more of this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and uh, promote myself a little bit. So next Tuesday, if you're at SPC, uh, come by. We're going to talk about this as the first session. And if you are in Germany and a week after that, that Tuesday, come join my session for that. Uh, I'd love to meet all of you, but uh, again, we'll cover all of this kind of all up from the start. And then here are some samples. So here's the samples to pay attention to. Here is the blog. So if you're interested in a full write-up of how this is done, right, you want to actually see those steps that I had to skip for the Inkscape, uh, you can see all those in there. All right, that's it for me today. Thank you, Chris. Absolutely awesome demo. Uh, really good to see that clarified and, and recorded in here as well.